Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Bloom Outdoors. So if you guys checked out one of the last videos I posted on the channel, you would know I got the new B pillars put on and the gloss black with the keyless entry. So there you can see what it looks like. Looks pretty good with the wrap. But anyways, just a little update for you guys on the truck with the whole AC problem and it leaking and all that. Long story short, the truck ended up getting fixed Basically what was wrong was some of you guys mentioned it, but it was actually the drain tube. Uh, since the truck has just like an inch of squat, all the wind and excess and all that stuff was basically pushing the water that was falling out of the drain tube and making it fall back into the cab. So what I had to do there was just go in and kind of make my own drain tube and have it run down along the frame. So it drains properly now, as well as doesn't leak in the cab anymore. So that problem is fixed, thankfully. So carpet won't be wet anymore. But uh, if you guys saw that video, like I showed you, then my interior lights were all ripped out. The lights that go around the cup holders uh, and the dash light, those were ripped out. Uh, dealer did that, couldn't figure out how to put them back in. So right now I am trying to get them put back in with some Gorilla Glue and some tape to hold it down. And so kind of in the meantime, while that's happening, I figured I'd go ahead, put some new stuff on the truck uh, that I wanted to get put on. So if you guys checked out the video with the B-pillars, you would know if I showed you, then I broke this one. You can kind of see right there. I ended up breaking that right there as well as screwing up this one on the top. It's kind of hard to tell because as you can see, it's getting dark out. Um, so it's kind of hard to tell, but it is kind of messed up. And also just in my opinion, like it's hard to tell right now, but just cause the lighting, but it just doesn't tie in super well. Um, these window sill pieces don't tie in super well with kind of the windows being gloss black cause they're tinted so dark and the B pillars and the C pillar wrap. So it doesn't look super great. So I went on, I believe it was American Trucks. I'll leave the link for it down in the description, but I got new uh, windowsill trim here. I couldn't find the actual trim anywhere. So I believe this is a cover, basically. Uh, I believe it just got 3M tape that goes over the top of here and sticks on, but it shouldn't be too big. So you won't be able to notice that it's just a cover that's on there, but I'm gonna go ahead, try it out, see if it ties in better. Uh, with the wrap and everything because as you can see right here like how this goes up and this is straight across it just doesn't look super great so my thought with it at least was if this was gloss black that might tie in better because then it'll just kind of be a whole straight line this whole thing will pretty much be gloss black we've got them right here we're going to go ahead and open them up so i believe this one should be for the passenger side front The doors are open, but if you can maybe see there what it looks like with the matte black and then this going on there, I think it's going to look a lot better. Like I said, the lighting right now is not good at all, but uh, it should end up looking pretty good, I hope. So we'll make sure they fit because they have an option for with and without tow mirrors. I selected the one with tow mirrors. That actually looks pretty good. And as you can see, it's just an overlay that goes over the top of it, but it's pretty much gonna look just like that. So in my opinion, at least that looks pretty good. So you kind of see the difference between that and that. It's hard to tell because the lighting's bad, but it should look a lot better. And as you can see, like I said, it is just an overlay piece. So it just has the 3M tape on the back. So we'll go ahead and get the right side here for the drivers, since you can kind of see that one a little better, get that put on and see how it looks with it. All right, guys, so I got the driver side here put on. Again, it might be hard to tell with the lighting and everything, but you can kind of see there what it looks like. It's hard because it's dark out, I'm trying to have the flash run and stuff. But it's hard to see, but you can see it butts up right against the mirror there. And it goes back 
to right there. Fitment was a little off. I don't know if that was me or if they're just made a little weird. Because this one seemed to be just a little bit long and this one was a little bit short. So you kind of have a weird gap there. But it shouldn't affect anything. They shouldn't hit on each other. Should be totally clear there. But then this one goes back and kind of cuts up like that. Can kind of see the old one sticking out behind it, but I'm not really sure how else that's supposed to go. It might've been bent just a little bit when I got it, so it wasn't exactly perfect. But as you can see there, it looks a lot better. That wrap ties in a lot better right there. It looks a lot more like a straight line. You can kind of tell it's a little off, like this should almost be just a little bit lower to tie right in there perfectly because you can kind of see it just isn't quite perfect. But overall, it's close enough. Like first glance, it looks pretty good. I don't really know where to stand to give you guys the best view. But you can kind of see there what it looks like. And these are just plastic. It did give you a little alcohol wipe to rub the old pieces before too. I don't know what that was like made out of, but it was super sticky. Um, just so you guys are aware of that. They do give you a little alcohol prep thing, but it's really sticky, so it, I think it helps with the adhesion of the 3M tape on there. But you can kind of see what it looks like there. Uh, might not turn out great in this video, but I'm sure you guys will end up seeing it in future videos here. What it looks like really doesn't look too bad. I kind of wish I could just get a whole new piece because it would be... I don't know about easier, but like better, especially long term, because it's actually in there. There's no chance of this just falling off or flying off when I'm going down the interstate or whatever, because the 3M decides not to stick. So hopefully it ends up working out fine for me, but that's what it looks like. The only piece that's off now is this piece, but I'm not sure if you can do anything to change that. But that is just what it looks like compared to the other side. It's not too big of a difference, at least when you're standing right up next to it, like just looking at it before and after, but then comparing the two sides. And you can really tell a difference here between this just matte black, this crappy plastic stuff versus the new gloss black ones that are on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this side done. It's really not that hard. You just pull that 3M tape off, uh, lay the thing on there and try and get it lined up as close as possible and then hold it down so that the 3M sticky tape applies to it and it actually sticks to the windowsill trim. You guys can kind of see there what it looks like. It doesn't look too bad. I think it looks pretty good, at least in my opinion. I'll probably have to look at it again tomorrow in the daylight. And also for some reason, the truck always looks a lot lighter colored on camera than it actually is in person. So. This black color looks about the same, maybe a little darker in person, but just the overall paint color looks darker in person. Like up here, it looks a lot closer, but when you've got these bright lights shining on it, it does not actually look like that color in person. <laughs> but you guys can kind of see there what it looks like. But I did read in the comments, these things do get sun faded and weathered. So if you probably shouldn't get them if you park outside, which unfortunately I do park outside. Uh, so hopefully they don't end up like changing colors. I think somebody said they turn into like a purple color. So hopefully that isn't the case for me, but I guess we will just have to wait and see. Um, and then I'll have to do something different if that does end up happening. But for now, this is what it looks like. Doesn't look too bad. Like I said, it's hard to tell because it's dark out that you guys can see. I feel like fitment was a little better on this one. Still a little off there in the front. I probably could have slided it just a hair forward, but it is what it is. Uh, nobody's really gonna be able to notice unless you look really hard at it. But that is just kind of what we're looking like. So if you guys have any other questions, comments, concerns, or anything like that over what I just did, or over what I mentioned at the start of the video with the whole truck leaking AC problem, or anything like that, go ahead, drop it down in the comments below. Uh, other than that though, thanks for watching another video of Bloom Outdoors. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time.